All right, guys. So as soon as you walk into the museum, you can see the the Pac-Man exhibition. So I'm just gonna walk around here so you guys can see. Um, the, this is what I actually wanted to wanted to see. Very old lunch boxes, and with. I guess this uh, booklet, or it is like a coloring book for children. This is one of the oldest ones. And some of the characters here, we have uh, Sewer Puss, Chump Chump, Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, or AKA Paper, nice, and Baby Pack. So there you guys, there you guys have it. So, it is one of the things that I was most excited to watch. Um, the launch boxes, the very old retro launch boxes. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I like this. Okay, and we have um, an exhibition of the creator creator of uh, Pac-Man there's an exhibition there's some video playing on a on a uh, a big screen TV which it looks like a, this is an arcade so there's a CD this is uh, Pac-Man Fever there, oh, there's a, probably there's a music. Oh, I see. Wow. So this is like the, the there's a uh, there's a CD and a vinyl, which probably includes the music from from Pac-Man. Very nice. Very nice. Now here we have some of the arcades that. If you if you come and visit the museum, they are free to play. Free to play. Certain so old retro Pac-Man games. Just take a look. Really nice. I am going to play some of those. Arcades, but not at the moment. I just want to show you guys everything um, Before I start to going crazy Using the arcades and watching everything um, First thing first So I need you guys to watch everything that that we the museum has to offer before I head into and uh, kind of like lost myself into other stuff of the museum. So we have some retro uh, paraphernalia here. I think, I, I believe I, I used to own this one right here. I think, I'm not really sure. I used to own this Pac-Man uh, kind of portable video game. And I, I remember, I think I've seen some of these toys here. Especially this one, this is the best one, I guess. This is the best one. And we have a more modern, I think that this one is one of the oldest ones. And then we have one, the more modern kind of, uh, uh, games portable games and toys uh, we see if we go back here we also have um, what is this a pac-man um, card game a retro card game very nice I have this is the first time I've actually seen a pac-man game It's really nice. 
There's the stickers. I mean, um, the carts come into a pack. And it has uh, stickers and uh, rub offs, bubble gum. Stickers, rub offs, and bubble gum. So, probably like tattoos, one of those retro tattoos that you can, one of those retro tattoos that um, we all know about. Um, that, you know, when you were a kid, you buy bubble gum, you buy like uh, carts, and they have a stick of really hard, really bad tasting bubble gum, no, I'm just kidding. And also the, um, the, ta the tattoos that you, you, you put them on you with water, peel them off, and there you have, you have a tattoo. So this is, this is the Pac-Man exhibition. Very nice, very cool. Um, very nice, very cool. We have Mrs. Pac-Man here. They have all of the they have all of the games. You have Pac-Man, uh, Mrs. Pac-Man, the Galaga, Dig Dug, Mappy, I don't, I don't know which I've never seen Mappy before, probably. Galaga 88, Pac-Mania, and Galaxian. So that's pretty pretty gnarly. get to pay obviously I'm not I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna do my best score like you're holding the holding the, the camera and, and and playing trying to play the arcade whoa I remember playing this game when I was like like um, I remember playing this game when I was like nine years old uh, I remember when uh, I used to go to this Mexican restaurant that my, my dad used to take us to have dinner and they had this arcade and I, I always um, was asking for quarters. They, uh, my dad used to give me like a dollar, five dollars worth of um, quarters to play the, the arcade until it was uh, time to go home. So we gotta we gotta check more arcades. We have Pac-Mania here. I remember this one. This is a newer version. This is a newer version of uh, Pac-Man. Okay. This video before. It's uh, kind of trippy. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of trippy. It's cool. And we have another we have another lunch box over here. We have the 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 lunch box which it has uh, Pac-Man um, eating the what are they ghosts? I think they're, they're ghosts. I'm not really sure if they're ghosts, but it's um, about to, um, to to eat the blue one, and the other ones are scared. Um, I think uh, it, it it shows that here's uh, the, the the drink cup. It shows that um, Pac-Man was the, the evil one here, the bad one, right? But always on my mind as a kid. I think uh, the ghosts are the, the bad ones. Yeah, especially their their eyes sometimes. So this is the Atari, the Atari retro game, the Pac-Man. I remember this game. I think I used to I used to own this game. I used to own a uh, Atari. What, what was it? Seventy eight hundred, sixty eight hundred. Uh. And I think I, I used to I used to own this game. I used to have it. So that was when I was like I don't know like seven eight years old. I used to own the until 
until the Nintendo came out and and everybody switched to Nintendo the NES and then and then the Super Nintendo so just, here it is this is the Pac-Man exhibition let's go and move on to the other areas So we have to walk through this uh, scary bridge and here we go into this other area which has um, the, the Animation Academy exhibition and they have some retro animations on how they used to create cartoons, the gestures, uh, the expressions, these are the expressions, the gestures with their hands and stuff. We have Gumby. We have Gumby. There we, there we have it. Have a have a Gumby day. Yeah, this is this this toy was really famous. Um, actually, my wife Sandra loves this. Loves Gumby. She used to own one when, he, when she was a kid and she always tells me that it brings back memories um, and here to my left I have the origins the process and the production of the, the cartoons there we go and um, here we have a poster of the production how everything was created back then um, the optical effects the mechanical effects computer generated imagery things like that very nice we have um, uh, this uh, screen where people have taken their picture and you can share it have another poster with the, um, how production was created before back in the day. Um, here's a Matez, the double exposure, the green screens, very nice. How, this is how, oh yeah, this is a weather girl with uh, the, like a huge green room green screen room and that's how it's done oh, I, re I remember that guy who remembers that guy that is um, the alien alien looking guy they used to come and try to kill Bugs Bunny Looks like that okay so here is the exhibition from pencils to pixels you have the origins the uh, Phantasmagory, uh, which is, I guess, black and white. Um, S12 rectangular mirrors placed evenly around the center of the cylinder. Each mirror reflects another image of the picture strip placed opposite on the inner wall of the cylinder. Okay, so, so they used to make, they, they used to make, um, the cartoons to look like this using cylinders and mirrors and rotating see when they're rotating the um, the proxy proxinoscope shows the se sequential images one by one resulting in a fluent animation so that's that um, different te techniques that they used to um, use in order to create to create the um, uh, animations or cartoons, things like that. So this way, there's more uh, history of the origins of um, of cartoons. We have here the the what is it called uh, the Praxinos, pra Praxinoscope, which is the one. Um, noted in that poster back there 
the Magic Lantern, the Praxinoscope, which is that one. Oh, pretty cool. Look at that. So they, that's how they used to um, make animations. And then we have the Magic Lantern, we have the flip books, we have the Camera Lucida, and uh, the Stereoscope. Very, very nice stereoscope. Very, very nice um, um, devices that they used to use in order to create. So the, everybody knows the flip books. Um, sorry, the flip books right here, some really, really old flip books. And um, I guess that is the Magic Lantern. Magic Lantern and the the wheel, which I guess will pair with the uh, the, the praxi praxinoscope. Um, once it turns, it creates animations. So this is this is all the um, exhibition here. Um, sorry, they used to make Popeye. This is the the exhibition on how history of um, um, cartoons and animations probably the start of everything that we know today and we love like uh, uh, comic books um, anime and all the sorts so this is the birth of all of that here's the, the history about the lunch boxes Oh wow, this is a really old lunchbox. It has some wires on the top. The, 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 the Hopalong the Cassidy um, lunchbox from the 1950s. And so you can see the different uh, lunchboxes, the Bernstein Bears lunchbox, really old retro lunchbox. The Chippendale. Oh, I remember this one. Actually, I remember this one. That is crazy. I remember. I think I remember having having this this uh, Chippendale um, drink cup. Jetsons. Oh, I remember this one too. Wow. I used to own this one too. Smurfs. Wow. This is pretty cool. pretty cool so the Smurfs we have um, 101 Dalmatians the Chippendale uh, DuckTales Lion King Aladdin oh, wow, Robin Hood uh, the Rescuers Oh, this is a really good one, uh, Pinocchio. And Tails, Tails Spin. Oh, I remember this one too. I remember this cartoon. Wow, I forgot about it. Tails Spin. Here in San Diego, it, it used to be uh, Channel Six. <laughs> Channel Six already. Channel 6, Rooney is the one who were um, um, having all those cartoons and Maniacs, Peanuts, Popeye, is this one, The Secret of Nim, Personator, Captain Planet. Oh, this is another good one. Look at this one. Care Bears. Very nice. The Simpsons. Looney Tunes. Um, Green Raiders. Oh, look at this one. Masters of the Universe. Very nice one. Very nice. And look, it's even dusty and stuff. Really old lunchbox. Love it. 
So these are the things that this these are the things that if if uh, if you are not playing games, um, you can um, kind of like visit a museum like this, support them. They they have um, other things that you can make donations to their organizations and support this um, this type of museums because um, they give us all this information, all this um, history that anyone, any age can come in and uh, indulge their, their, themselves into how how our history, how our pop culture, what we love, cartoons, anime, video games, how were they created, and um, and I, I believe this is a really, really uh, significant, great um, kind of like museum or uh, history or information than anyone that likes video games, comic books, um, anime, uh, all that stuff, Dungeons and Dragons games, things like that, uh, will definitely love, will definitely take advantage of this type of museum. So come, come along, um, if you can, visit the museum and make donations so we can keep this, they can keep this running, right? So back here we have, we have um, some toys. A stop motion show is a work of Some art. Some really old toys. Let me see if I can focus on them. So we have, oh, I remember, I think I remember that now one. I've seen it before. And then we have this one. I don't know, what is that Gemma. guy? Moody Action. Rudy. I've never, I, I, this is the first time I've series? seen that. Moody, Moody a Rudy. Feature film or a now, a a jack-in-a-box, um, and that's the Gumby on one of his uh, on his house, one of his toys. So this is this is uh, Gumby hey, again. Gumby. The museum is open. It's showtime. And uh, photos of the people that used to create Gumby. Morning, Pokey. Looks like a fine day. And the the materials they used to use to to produce the 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 show the Gumby show hello welcome Let there me we go a tour of my stop motion studio there we go guys and look at look at this now this is one of the one of the things that I actually enjoy looking um, in this museum I didn't know that they, they have so many things to to see to enjoy to um, uh, it brings a little bit of uh, uh, nostalgia. So look at this. As you know, the retro original um, castle of what is it called? I even forgot the the master of the universe. This is um, the school castle, right? I think it's called the school castle. But it's the the He-Man and the masters of the universe toys. All right, so it was and here is you can see the information about it. It was uh, it was created back in 1982, 1983. The Mattel company release the original He-Man action figure. Um, I didn't know this, but it was, the cartoon was uh, actually controversial in that it was produced in connection with marketing in line of toys. In the, oh, I see, I see. In the United Kingdom, advertising regulations forbade commercials for He-Man toys to a to accompany the program itself in similar fashion to other shows at the time. Oh, notably G.I. Joe. Oh, so marketing was, they had different rules, different rules on how to market the toys. So if, it, if they had a, if they had a toy 
um, they couldn't, they couldn't, um, if they had a toy that is related to a cartoon or a show, a TV show, they couldn't um, market it or promote it um, during during the show. So they, they couldn't promote the toys when the show was airing, was airing in, in the, to the public. So, so uh, there, there you guys have it. There's the Skeletor, He-Man, and the other, the other guys. And here's the the school castle with some of the bad guys. I remember that guy. All right. I don't remember their names, but I'm pretty sure it brings back an. Uh, a memory. My brain is telling me that I I used to know that image, but I just can't relate it to the name. <laughs> what else do we have over here? More Gumby. Gumby was really popular. I guess it's like an American icon back in the day. All this. Right. And more, what is this, Gumby? No, this is like, yeah, more Gumby. Very nice exhibitions. I like it, I love it. Very nice exhibitions. Um, what else do we have here? We have this Pirates. Pirates from the Caribbean. <laughs> no, I don't know which ones are these. Uh, So motion and animation. The tortoise and the the hare. Kung Fu Panda. Here, the um, 3D printing. printers like this one have revolutionized stop motion animation. They give puppet makers the ability to create thousands of slightly different interchangeable facial features. Hmm. This cuts down on setup and production time. Nice. So that's how, that's one of the techniques that now is, is used. The, um, the 3D print printing of of different models doing different things and it cuts down on the production cuts down the time to produce this animated um, um, movies and shows things like that all right Oh, hell, hell yeah, we have Captain Crunch. Oh, this is, this is. All right, we're gonna go to the. To another area. All right, so we are here at the second floor in the Comic-Con Museum. You have the Cardboard Superheroes Exhibition. You have the Cardboard Superheroes. We have, this is one of the um, exhibitions that I was actually uh, looking forward to, to, uh, to experience. This is cover story in the five decades of Comic Con. So there's uh, here's the cardboard um, the cardboard heroes. We have Yoda, we have Star Wars, um, 
characters. R2 D2. We have C3PO. We have the, the, the Comic Con logo made out of uh, cardboard. Made out of cardboard, guys. This is probably requires a lot of uh, time and patience. I believe they, they have to mold or they have to prepare the cardboard in different ways to get different uh, shapes, different results to make the to make the superheroes or characters. Okay, so this is the 50 years of of Comic Con. So let's go back over here and start from the beginning. Those were just the cardboard um, cardboard characters, superheroes. So this was back in 1970 by uh, uh, Jack Kirby. 1971. Carmine Infantino. This are really, really, really nice artwork um, from from uh, the pros, from the very first people who started um, creating um, comic books in the sort. Jack Kirby, 1972. This was for the San Diego's West Coast Comic Convention back in 1972. Just look at this. Just look at this. Wow. This is some very, very um, priceless uh, stuff in here. This is really, this is history. Of uh, the comic uh, Comic Con um, uh, events, fifty years. What is this? Uh, Neil Adams, nineteen seventy-three, San Diego, San Diego Comic Con, nineteen seventy-three. Wow, guys, that is really nice. <laughs> They, had, they hit a bird. <laughs> That's funny. Sent 1974 San Diego Comic Convention. Very nice. That's, uh, they have some characters uh, chilling here in San Diego back in the day. It's always sunny. 1975, San Diego uh, Comic Con. 1975. By Will Eisner. 1976. Oh, I like this one. This one is really good. San Diego Comic Con 1978. Look at this. Wow. Boris Vallejo, nice, really nice artwork. And we have uh, the 1981, which is also really, really good. We have, uh, what is that, Conan? Very nice, very good um, artwork. Now we have the 1981. Uh, Batman, Superman, and the Wonder Woman. Very nice, very good. Um, over here, we have um, the 19, San Diego 1982 Comic Con. Uh, phenomenal artwork. Look at this. And then we have, that, that's from uh, Frank, Frank uh, Bronner, and then 
We have this San Diego Comic Con 1983 souvenir program book with um, it looks like the 19s, the, like almost between 1970s um, fashion uh, wearing characters and the 1980s. So between 1980s and the 70s, she she has aided uh, uh, the doors. Um, probably like a like a vinyl, and we have more more uh, artwork from past comic cons. This is this is from 1985, 1985, 1986, 1987. I like this one too. This is a good. This is a good one. Look at that. Wow. And then we have this one here from 19, it doesn't say, it just says 19, 1988, 1988, guys, 1988. Gene Movies, oh yeah. So, so that artist, I like his, uh, or her, uh, her art, or her, his art, it's pretty good, I'm not sure if that's a female or male, I need to do more research into that, this is from 1989, this is a really good one, San Diego Comic Convention from 1989. The 1990s, the new age, the new age of Comic Con. So, this is greetings from San Diego 1990 Convention. This is the new 1991. Look at the artwork, very good. This is, uh, 1992, 1992, and this is 1993. Really nice. And of course, 1994, my favorite year of my life. 1994, San Diego Comic Con, 25 years. Very good. With The Simpsons. Wow. It's very good stuff. Good. Very good stuff, guys. We're walking down over here, and we have some more stuff. Um, we have uh, 1995, San Diego Comic Con International, 1996, Dave McCann, 1997. 1998, 1999, and of course the modern, the modern age of Comic Con. This is the 2000, the year uh, 2000, 2001, 2002. 2003, look at this, isn't that nice? 2004, back to the, uh, some illustrations from uh, Jack Kirby. Wow. 2005, 2006, 2007, Comic-Con number 40, wow. Very nice. This goes back in 2010, 2011, 2012, and 20, yeah, 2012, both of 
so this is the the reading area you can read some comics and you can do some art in here we have some characters this is a, uh, one of their different organizations so you can uh, keep donations feed rescue unite it's wearing a, a very nice uh, belt has a spoon in a fork very, very nice right have some stairs here careful Comic-Con number 15, 2019 in 2020. Very nice. And the story continues. Oh, look at this. The, the Cowboy Bebop, 20, the 25th anniversary. Very nice. Very nice. Now we're getting into the anime era or anime exhibitions. <laughs> anime exhibitions. This is the, the cowboy peep up um, illustrations. Nice. All right. Yeah, Cowboy Bebop it has been one of my favorite um, animes. It's pretty nice. In here. Have the Comic Con mascot. We have the events, events guide from 2022. And the Comic Con comics the, with the mask and the shirts, the pins, different pins. Very nice. They even have the the Funko Pop. Nice. Very nice. So this is the museum. You can see right here. Alright guys, it's been a, it has been a very, very nice tour, very nice video, very nice um, enhancement of knowledge in um, anime, into cartoons, animation, um, pop culture, anything er and everything that you need to know about. Uh, history of the comic-con and video games and things like that you can come to san diego and the balboa park and come and visit the the comic-con museum all right guys so we are in the lower level of uh, uh, exhibitions here at the comic-con museum and down here we can see some uh, some comics. This is the workforce of Stan Lee. 
So there's uh, there's a real a real hero, as you can see. He is my hero for bringing all this um, kind of uh, world to to me. All the comics, all the experiences, all the fun in reading his comic books. Um, all the new he he has a very special place in my heart and in my mind so here's the exhibition of mr sir uh, um, stan lee stan lee Right, so this is a, one of the old comic books. And some... Some uh, animations here. Photographs. Captain America comic book number three. This is from doesn't say number three. Wow, doesn't say the 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 year. That's the comic book. A 4.5. Wow, look at this one. Uh, 8.0 CGC grade Captain America comic number five and a Mystic Comics number six. Very nice. And a O Winners Comics number one. The, with a CGC 6.5, very nice. We have Marble Boy number two, Black Knight number one with a 5.0. Wow, very good. All right, so let's keep on moving here. We have some old Tales of the Suspense um, comic. Tales to, to Astonish, Amazing Fantasy, wow, those are the, those are the times, right? Those are the comic books that, that kind of like started everything, started all the, the era of the, the comics that we, we get to get to love and become a fan amazing fantasy this is a good one when back when spider-man was introduced and the ant-man so here we have the is the my hero academia exhibition hero academia exhibition and so as you come in, you see different animations from My Hero Academia. And the introduction, this is set in the world where about 80% of the population um, has a superpowered perk. Heroes protect the people and society from accidents, disasters, and villains. Criminals who use their perks for evil. The story of Yusuku, Midoriya, and his classmates at UA, UA High School, and their, and their growth, fights, and friendship unfolds as they aim to become such. Okay, such heroes. So that's what 
My Hero Academia is about people, kids who are growing up to become either heroes of society or villains by developing developing their their perks, perks their special powers. I've seen this anime a few times, but I haven't, I wish I had seen it more. I've seen a little bit of it, but um, I'm probably, probably gonna uh, set some time aside so I can watch some more. Here's a punchy roll. Um, uh, information. Crunchyroll is really good. That's one of my, the very first apps that I got so I can start watching anime. So they have all these comic books. It's old. Iron Man and Mr. Octopus. Avengers. X-Men. Strange Tales. X-Men here with uh, featuring the return of the dreaded Magneto. There is Captain America, the Daredevil, and more of the, the amazing Spider-Man. They also have a theater where you can see um, cartoons and different things that probably they, they are showing at the theater. We have this Fantastic Four, number 45 with the 8.0. The Marvel Super Heroes, number 12 with the 9.0. Very nice. December 1967 with a 9.0. Wow. This is another comic book. Uh, num the Incredible Hulk, number 102, from April 1968, with a 9.4 grade. Very nice. We have a lot of comic books around in the in this exhibition, around the walls. As you can see, all this, all those are comic books. More comic books over here, and um, of course, most of the comic books are have been approved by the Comics Code Authority. So make sure that your comics have been approved by the Comics uh, Code of Authority. There you guys have it. Amazing Spider-Man number 97 from 1971 with the 9.8 featuring the, the Green Goblin. And then 9.6, Amazing Spider-Man number 96 from May 1971. <clears throat> Here you can take your picture. You will come up in a in a comic book. So let's see. Let's try it out. Let's see how you do this. Let's see. Uh, it's, you're gonna have to swipe the card. You have to swipe the card, and then you take your picture right here, and you will come out uh, you as a superhero so let's try it out Use my super computing 
superpowers to transform you into actual comic superpowers. Let's get started. Oh, shit. It's okay. Alright, guys. So, you want to see how I become a superhero? Stay tuned. Let's see. I want a story or a cover. Let's do a cover, right? So the comic book cover. Choose your adventure. And of course, I'm gonna select Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics. Now, choose your favorite Marvel. 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 All right, we're gonna go. Um, you don't have any more Thor, Iron Man, Doctor Strange. So I'm gonna pick. Mighty Thor. Great choice. I'll guide you the entire way and direct you to take the necessary actions. So listen carefully to my commands. Alright, let's listen carefully to, Pretend to shout. their commands. Three, two, one, action! Uh, Use the arrows to position the image. I didn't do anything. Use the arrows to position the image. Give us a power Three, two, one, action! Use no. the arrows to position the image. That's my powerful stand. Well done. That was excellent team. My supercomputer will now process the value and create your code. Please, please. wait for the transfer message. It's a bit strange, but don't worry, it won't hurt. Alright, let's uh, stay close. Select your portrait. Yeah, select this one. Oh. Please wait while your comic is free. Thank you for using the bar for the Collect your bits outside. Let's, uh, where do we collect the comics? Hmm. It's probably outside. Before I exit the museum, you collect the uh, prints outside. Let's, let's check it out. Oh, it's over here. Prints over here, right on the side. And here we go. That's my my comic book. That's me right here in the the mighty Thor. Nice. All right, we're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep that, and we're gonna keep on walking around. We have some more Funko Pop here. And some, uh, some more Stanley books, pictures, novelties, things like that. Wow, these are the, like the first, the first, um, what is this? Monsters Unlimited number one, number four, 1965 with a 9.6 by Stan Lee. Wow. Wow, that's uh, that's a crown, uh, a crown jewel right there. And I guess that's uh, we're gonna go. 
over here to another another exhibition. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Because so we can go in here. So they have they have real. This is uh, Noel from Genshin Impact. Very nice. Um, so this is the art of the of of the Comic Con Masquerade. Oh, I remember this. This is from the Looney Tunes, right? I think, or from uh, Space Fan. So I guess um, this is a really nice sword. Look at that. And here is the the the, the if you want to cosplay, you can wear this one. This is a very nice playing custom and we have more got plenty of more um, cosplaying costumes which probably the, these are these are probably the, the very well made so probably they will cost you a fortune pro <laughs> to buy them look at this one Looks even straight out of the straight out of the movie. We have this one here from Superman, Batgirl, and um, I, I don't know who this is. So I just forgot the name. It's like a angel with the shield. Very nice. Of course. We have Batman when he's, when he's jumping down. 1955, 2022. It's that guy who, what's his name? Kevin, Kevin uh, Conroy. Back in Comic Con 20, 2014. Wow. A legend, of course. We have some more costumes for cosplaying. Very nice. Whoa. This is a big one. What is it from like Cinderella? Or um it's not Cinderella. This is a Queen of Hearts. From Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. So actually, somebody wore this and won the, the contest. The winner of Judge's Choice WonderCon Masquerade in 2023. Wow. There you have it. Of course, this is the best one, I think. Damn, that, that is one very, um, very, very good, well-made costume, very, like, they were very uh, meticulous, very detailed into creating that um, costume. All right, so I guess we got all the, all the areas of, um, all the exhibitions from uh, Comic Con Museum. I guess. Uh, well, I guess this is a goodbye, farewell. See you on the next one. Um, and before I go, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you on the next one.